Well, many of the organizations that we've talked about so far today have a long connection of serving our community, but we want to introduce you to a new local charity that officially got up and running just a few months ago. Now, their story is very inspiring for AP. It is. Yes. Don't, we can I'm, cry. I'm, we can cry together. It's, it's okay. time. We've been holding it, it might in happen. Right? It might happen today. And we're going to share more about it in just a moment. But first, Lauren Turner shares how the Grand Fund all got started with a podcast. All over this great land, we've got grand families uh, that are raising their grandkids and making a huge difference. Craig Nash started the podcast, It's a Grand Life, to share his journey of raising his granddaughter, Ella. And Nash quickly realized he and his wife were not alone in this experience. There are 2.3 million grandparents and relatives raising their grandkids across the country. And uh, within six months of doing the podcast, we'd made a connection with a, uh, a lady who runs an organization called the Grand Family Coalition in Littleton, Colorado. And she said, you know, you would be a real good uh, grand voice, which is um, a role that Generations United uh, starts uh, or put together for all these grandparents who are raising their grandkids across the country. Quickly becoming an advocate for grandparents nationwide, Nash decided to give back by not only using his voice, but raising funds for other grandparents in need. 20 to 30 percent of, of the families out here that are raising their grandkids are living at or below the poverty line and they, they need some help. And that's why we started the Grand Fund in July of 2024, and we were approved by the IRS as a, a 501c3 on August 16th, 2024. We want to make a difference for folks that are putting it on the line every day. One grandmother directly benefiting from the Grand Fund is Teresa Powers, who experienced homelessness for seven months while raising her grandchildren and great-grandchild. Luckily, she found a home and the Grand Fund. You know, when I got my new house, I was down broke, didn't have nothing, and the owner of the house wanted me to have renter's insurance um, because I have a service dog. And Mr. Nash um, paid for a whole year of renter's insurance for me, so that took a big burden off of me. Teresa's granddaughter, Brianna, is also grateful for the help, but she's most grateful for her best friend. I don't think I would be the mom that I am because of my grandma. My grandma showed me everything, and I just love her with everything I have in me. In the spirit of giving, Live in the D was there when Nash surprised them with something special. We just wanted to make sure that you had a nice holiday coming up, so um, it's a grand life partnered with Celebrity Catering, and we're going to give you a uh, a gift certificate for Thanksgiving dinner, Christmas dinner, whatever you want. It's good for a whole year. But uh, this is from these wonderful folks at Celebrity oh. Catering. And I um, want you to have just a, a, a phenomenal holiday. Oh, you all deserve you. it. It's a Grand Life allows families to share their stories, but it also recognizes that all walks of life can be in a very similar situation. One of the things I like about being in the space of grandparents raising grandkids is because, you know, we live in a very divided country right now. We're divided in, in so many areas, but not when it comes to grand families. If you are a Native American in Oklahoma and you're raising your grandson, I get it. And you get what I'm all about, and even though I'm a suburban Detroiter. And it's, it's all up, uh, black, white, whatever. When you are involved in caring for your loved ones, we all want to support one another. In fact, I'm hoping that grandparents lead the charge to get this country united again. And joining us now is Craig Nash, the host of the podcast, It's a Grand Life, and the founder of the Grand Fund. Good morning. Thank you so much for having me today. Thank you. We're, we're, we're watching the piece and we're like cheering you on while we're sitting next to you, which is amazing. But before, you know, we talk to you, uh, you know, I want to tell you how your mission it really inspired AP. Mm. Um, talk about that. Um, I was raised by my grandparents my entire life. Um, and so I never knew, you know, that something like this would be so beneficial. And I'm just like, I'm fighting back the tears right now because 
being raised by your grandparents is just such a different feeling. Mm -hmm. um, and I am, I'm honored to have been raised by my grandparents. And this is like so, I, I, I don't even have all the words for it. This is like such an amazing thing because I believe that grandparents, they need that kind of support, you know, raising 100%. small children. Um, myself, I was very young up until adult age um, when I left my grandparents' home. And so the things that they instilled in me, like I couldn't have found that anywhere else. You know what I mean? So this is like, this is amazing. This is amazing work. What was so amazing to me, AP, is that I didn't know how widespread the problem is. Mm -hmm. And there's, and, and here you are on a television show, mm -hmm. and, and we have this little story about grandparents uh, raising grandkids, and it just resonates right at the core of your being. Yes. And that happens to me all the time when people mm -hmm. hear about the mission of It's a Grand Life. And uh, thank you again for having us on today. We Absolutely. really appreciate it. It's our pleasure. But talk to us about the Grand Fund and how you're helping grandparents who are raising their grandchildren. Well, you know, we started the podcast, It's a Grand Life, because I, I heard a message one time about not wasting your pain. Mm. And we were in a lot of pain with a, a daughter who was living on the streets on the east side of Detroit, not knowing what's going on from day to day. And we wanted to make a difference. And uh, so I started this podcast. And within a year of doing the, 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 daily, the weekly shows, we realized that 20 to 30 percent of grandparents across the country are living at or below the poverty level. Mm -hmm. So we had to do more than just talk about it, and that's when we started the Grand Fund. And we were approved by the IRS as a 501c3 mm -hmm. on August 16th of this year, and we've been trying to make an impact slowly but surely and consistently throughout Pontiac, Metro Detroit, even some cases in northern Michigan. And uh, uh, everyone can relate to yeah. their grandparents, especially when they need a little help. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So today is all about giving and helping you go for it in what you do. How can people donate to the Grand Fund? Well, it's very easy. You just go to itsagrandlife.com. Mm -hmm. And if you're interested in, in maybe getting some help, you can go a little far, for, farther down on the podcast and tell us all about your situation yeah. and your grand family. But if you, and if you click on that, it's a grandlife.com, there's a button next to the Grand Fund logo that if you click on, it's very easy to make a donation. Mm -hmm. And we would awesome. appreciate it so much. Well, thank you so much for being here with us and everything that you do. And shout out to all the grandparents yes. out there. Phenomenal work. Thank you.